Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel BB. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we're gonna do a really quick haul video. Um, I did order some stuff from Ulta. I've been trying really hard not to order stuff just with everything going on with COVID. Um, I don't wanna create like extra mail and extra stuff uh, that is not essential being shipped out. I also, I'm not sure who's touching everything along the way. So I'm trying to be really precautious about that as well. Um, but that being said, I, uh, I, since I'm still going to work, I'm now showering every day. Normally I would shower every other day or every couple days um, and use a lot of dry shampoo, but I've been running out of shampoo and face wash a lot. Uh, more quickly than I normally am. So I did need some of that stuff. So we went ahead and put in an Ulta order um, because it's my birthday month, I get two times points right now. And I had a $10 off coupon. So we went ahead and ordered that. Um, we actually may put in another one soon as much as I'm trying not to order. Um, I am also running out of a lot of uh, my foundations and stuff like that because we're filming every day. And so I would like to pick up some like more affordable foundations and concealers just so that I'm not wasting a lot of my more expensive products. Uh, while we're not going out of the house and doing anything. So uh, we may put in another order, but this one is, uh, it's here and uh, here we are. So let's jump into it. Um, this one mainly is skincare and hair care stuff. I did pick up two palettes in it and then we got a couple free gifts, which is why I decided to purchase uh, when we did. But yeah, so the whole thing total was like $117, $18, something like that. We did use my $10 off coupon for my birthday. So we wound up paying like $107 for everything, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I thought we got a lot of stuff for that. So. We'll start with the most expensive things that I got, which were two very large uh, Paul Mitchell uh, tea tree shampoo and conditioners. They are lemon sage and they're supposed to um, thicken your, your hair and my hair is very thin. And uh, with it being washed every day, it is um, dealing with a lot of breakage and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to find something that would hopefully help uh, build it up. And uh, Paul Mitchell, of course, is one of the best brands out there. It is pricey. These are really big. I think these are the leaders. Yeah, they're leaders. So these are hopefully gonna last me for a good little while. And I think each one was about $29, which is expensive for shampoo and conditioner, but um, for Paul Mitchell and for the size, it'll last me for a good while. So I was. Pretty excited about picking those up. The next thing I got, I did, even though I'm not really using dry shampoo like I have been in the past, I did pick up uh, some more of the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak shampoos, uh, or dry shampoos. These are the tapioca dry shampoos, which I don't know if I've used these before. I know I've used the purple one. Uh, the blue and the purple are the ones I've used in the past. The purple is the one I normally buy, but I decided to, to go with this one uh, because I don't remember why. I don't, I just wanted to change, I guess, but I went with the green one this time. So I'm excited to uh, to test this one out and see if I like the green one as much as I like the purple one. Uh, these were 50% off, which is why I got two of them. They're normally like $6 and they were $3 a piece. So I went ahead and picked them up because even if I don't use them right away, when everything calms back down and I go back to showering less regularly and I need um, uh, some dry shampoo, it was a pretty good price to pick them up at. Uh, the next thing we got, some Biore face washes because we are with Nikki now uh, living with me and uh, taking all of my, my face wash. My face wash has been deplenishing uh, really quickly. He's got a thumbs up back there, but I got the Biore Rose Quartz Charcoal for oily skin. I love everything with charcoal in it. I use charcoal anything I can, face masks, uh, face washes. Uh, my makeup wipes right now have charcoal in them. I've used charcoal ha shampoos and we use the toothpaste and the toothbrushes and everything. So I really am a big fan of charcoal. So I was like, all right, I'll try this. And then we also got one that has a uh, witch hazel in it because my mom swears by witch hazel. So I was like, well, I'll try both of them. I think they were also 50% off. So um, let me see, I have, my, I have my thing pulled up so I can tell you what the price was, but they were not 50% off. They were like, 20, 30% off. They were five sixty, normally $8. So st still, I mean, still a good price in my opinion. I, I will happily pay $5 for a face wash. Um, I also got some more uh, pore strips. I like pore strips a lot. Uh, I find it very satisfying when I pull out like a giant, horrifyingly clogged pore. But these are also charcoal and I've never used the charcoal ones. I normally buy the Biore, but not the charcoal ones. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll try that. Um, the last two things we have are palettes. One of them is like fully sealed, like in plastic wrap and everything. They are both from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. I don't know. I always get, I always get confused about like what the brand name actually is. Sometimes it just says Revolution. Sometimes it says Makeup Revolution. I don't know. If, I think Revolution is the parent company of Makeup Revolution. These are, uh, 
two really bright palettes that I'm pretty excited to do like first impressions of. As you can tell, we've been doing a lot of those recently. But this one is the Tamix Revolution Tropical Carnival uh, Shadow Palette. That's what it looks like on the front. And on the inside of it, oh wow, it's like really well sealed. Oh no. So actually the little like tape that they had at the top like removed some of the eyeshadow. So that's disappointing, but it's fine. But it just comes with like a whole bunch of really bright, very like festival-ish eyeshadow colors. I'm excited to test them out. Not that I have anywhere to wear them to right now, but uh, I'm very excited. I was, I, you guys know I love my bright colors and I think I paid like $9 for this palette. So really great deal uh, in terms of what some of the other really bright eyeshadow palettes retail for. Um, I know it was on sale there normally, it's normally a $15 palette, but um, whatever deal they had going on, 40% off or whatever it was, uh, it was $9 when I picked it up. And then this one we actually had purchased at Christmas time and it came broken and then when we, they wouldn't exchange it in the mail, we had to bring it in person. They were like, they emailed me back and they're like, bring it into any store. And then when we went to the store, uh, they didn't have any in stock. So I was just like, whatever, just go ahead and return it and I'll take store credit. They put it back on sale. This is like a $25 palette and I think we paid like $15 for this one. So this is the Patricia Bright Rich in Color palette. And this is a really big one. And it's once again, got a lot of really beautiful colors in it. And I was pretty sad about not being able to um, to purchase it or get a replacement for the one that came broken. So I'm excited to finally get to test this one out. Um, it should be a, a fun little tutorial. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to do that pretty soon as well. Now I will talk about the free gifts because the free gifts is why we ultimately decided to order when we did. So Wednesdays, they pretty much, pretty much always does a free gift. This past Wednesday, they did not do that, which is sad because I have like a lot of stuff in my cart that I was waiting to order on Wednesday, hoping to get a free gift. And then uh, they still haven't done that. And it's now Thursday night and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to order it or if I'm going to wait and, and hopefully at some point they'll put out a free gift, but uh, probably just gonna order it because I really need face makeup. So, but anyway, anyway, the uh, Benefit little mini kit was their their just standard one. It was like, I think you had to spend $60 to get it. And it came with this cute little bag, like a nice little, what I would call like a gym looking bag. And then inside it's got like all these like creepy eyes, which I didn't realize, but uh, I'm not complaining. I just, I opened it up and I was like, there's a lot of things staring at me right now. Came with four minis as well. Uh, the Gimme Brow Fiber Gel, a little mini eyebrow pencil, their Roller Lash, which is one of my favorite mascaras from them, and then one of their Pore, Pressure, Pore Professional Hydrating Primers, um, which is one of my favorites. So that was a pretty good set. And then uh, I threw one on the ground, it's fine. And then if you spent $75, which obviously we spent more than that, uh, you got actually a really nice little tote bag as well from Benefit. And it came with um, some really cute little pins that you can decorate it with too. So I was really excited. I felt like we got a lot of good stuff for $100. And I got to use my birthday coupon and I got double points on it. Um, hopefully we'll be doing another little haul soon but like i said we haven't ordered anything yet so we'll see what winds up happening with that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um just a quick little haul i know it's not really makeup heavy right now but um i really am trying hard not to uh to spend a lot of money to order a lot of excess things that are unnecessary um and just kind of be mindful about everything that we're doing in terms of uh, you know the social dialogue that's going around and, and we're not really sure how long it's gonna last or what's gonna happen with that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul video. Uh, we'll definitely be doing some first impressions of the palettes and all that kind of good stuff in the near future. And uh, like I said, uh, keep an eye out. Hopefully we'll be uh, doing another haul where I can just show you guys some, um, some, some affordable foundations and stuff that uh, we picked up so that I can still do tutorials and not be wasting all of like the really expensive stuff. Um, just in terms of like foundations and, and primers and um, uh, concealers that I'm using every single day. Uh, you know, if I use an eyeshadow palette once while we're on quarantine, it's not a big deal, but uh, the foundations diminish really quickly. So yeah, hopefully we'll be picking some of that stuff up soon. Yeah, that's pretty much all we have for you today. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Uh, be precautious and mindful of others around you. And just remember to, to keep love and compassion in your heart in this crazy time. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and stay girly with a dark twist.